Hello everyone and today I want to talk about drop detuning and I want to show you a couple of cool riffs that you can play in drop detuning. Uh, first of all, let's tune the guitar in drop D. That simply means that the last string goes down to a D note. This is an E note right now and I just need to tune that down to D and I can use the open fourth string to do that. And then I usually like to double check and fine tune the last string doing this. I play in, in our harmonic on the D string at the 12th fret and then I play in the harmonic on the last string at the 5th fret. Okay. And I like to keep my my last string on the flat side because when we pr when we play the last string now the tension is pretty low and so those notes have a tendency to to go sharp. All right. So now we have a nice big D chord. We can play six strings when we play the D chord. And uh, okay, let, let's do the first riff now. It sounds like this. Okay, a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, three. This is the riff. I think it sounds cool. Um, uh, let's have a closer look. We want to start with a pull off on the fourth string, third fret, index finger, just like that. Down stroke, pull off. Right after that, we play the fifth string at the fifth fret, ring finger. And after that, we play an open D string and that's a unison. Quick recap, pull off, index, ring finger, open. This is a four note pattern and you play it down, pull off, down, up. Let's do this a few times. Now we want to move that four note pattern to a different set of strings. Let's move it to string number five and six. And we play exactly the same fingering. So pull off, last string and open A. Exactly the same pattern, right? And now let's play back to back. And that's the first part of the riff. And then we play an F power chord twice. These two strums, and I'm holding. I'm pressing the last string, the fifth string, and the fourth string at the third fret with my index finger. This is a power chord, and if you if you play the open strings, that's a D power chord. Okay, D, D sharp, E, F, and we go F twice and then D, just like this. Okay from the very top okay if you want to count those beats you should count like this one and two and three and four and one two three four okay and the second time through we play instead of F F D, we play F G D, like this. Of 
course, the G power chord is just like the F power chord. And I like to use my ring finger in this case. So a little bar at the fifth fret with my ring finger on the last three strings. That's a G power chord. Okay, I think we are good. Let's play it one more time, the riff from the very start. The, the timing here is a little bit different the, the first time when we play FFD we go like one two three four and the second time when we play FGD we go like one two three four okay so be careful there okay that's slightly different uh, and that's the first riff. Now let's have a look at the second riff. We are always in the key of D and this one sounds like this. A little bit faster. One. You can mute. I like to play this little riff using palm muting, using the palm muting technique, okay, or using open strings, and you can experiment with that. So ha let's have a closer look. Um, we start off doing that. So last string, third fret, index. You play that note then you pull off like this and then you play the open string one more time okay so this is a three note pattern and now we want to repeat that same pattern in in different position so look i'm doing the pattern here at the third fret then i go to the fifth string fifth fret same pattern then I go to the fifth string third fret and then I go to the fourth string third fret all together Now, right after that, I go with my index finger to the second fret and of the fourth string, and I play just a pull off like this, and I finish up with another pull off at the third fret of the fifth string. Index finger again. So those are the last four notes. Okay, all together from the top. Okay, it's pretty simple. Just remember index, ring finger, index, index, and then a couple of pull offs. And now the second time, right after. The, right after that, instead of going down to the second fret, we go with the ring finger at the fifth fret of the fourth string, D string, and we slide up to seven and we play that note again. Like that. first time I go play those four notes the second time I play that 
all together. And, and you can play this very, very fast. So that's all for today and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and most of all subscribe to my uh, mailing list. Uh, you can find the link below this video uh, and if you do uh, you, you can download a free flat picking crash course. Uh, it's a very very short uh, course uh, if you want to get started with flat picking. Alright, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.